Welcome back. This is the year we're taking control of our health and we're working towards feeling better. And much of that starts in the gut. So now I'm here with Dr. Manisha Mittal. She's a board certified rheumatologist and she brought her husband. This is Vivek Mittal, Dr. Vivek Mittal. He's a board certified gastroenterologist. So thank you guys both for being here today. Um, I was just telling you that I'm fascinated by gut health and, and how that makes us feel. So we'll start with you, Vivek. Uh, what is gastroenterology and why is it so important to how we feel overall? Thank you for having us over here, Emily. And well, let's start with the name gastroenterology. Gastro means stomach, enterology means uh, intestine, and it's a study of stomach and intestine. So gastroenterology not only entails stomach and intestine, but also liver, pancreas, gallbladder and the organs around it. So the gastroenterology is a scientific name for study of the digestive system. So being a gastroenterologist is a doctor who takes care of the GI health. We call them GI, it's kind of cool name, GI Joe. So <laughs> GI gastroenterology or GI tract system. It is a kind of a cool name. Why is our digestive system and our gut so, how do, why does it impact how we feel so much? You know, everything starts with the gut, the food we eat, the things we put in the GI system or gastro gastroenterology system. So it's very important what we eat and also the diseases which are affect, which, are, which affect the system. Let's start with like acid reflux. So uh -huh. many people are affected by acid reflux, be it their genetic susception or also their um, lifestyle, the, yeah. the stress we feel going down, we have stomach ulcers, you know, stress causes ulcers, and also other, there are other reasons also. Going to the liver, alcohol, alcoholic liver diseases, or viral hepatitis, going down to colon. Colon cancer is one of the top leading causes of death. And there are actually, there are ways to prevent colon cancer. In fact, I've, this is what fascinated me and got me to be a gastroenterologist because you can prevent cancer. In fact, most of the other cancers are diagnosed and then treated. Mm -hmm. In this, we can actually prevent, we can remove what we call polyps by a procedure called screening colonoscopy and prevent colon cancer instead of finding a cancer and somebody undergoing right. a surgery. So colonoscopy, which is uh, very dear to my heart, is is very, very important procedure. In the old times, we used to start at age 50, and now we're actually starting at much earlier age, at 45. Oh. Yes, because okay. it's a, such an easy and safe procedure. Yeah. Rather than waiting too long, how about we start earlier at 45, prevent it, yeah. and not you know prevent right. all the headache later on. Right, because the best health is to get in front of disease beforehand to take control. Okay, so you mentioned, uh, you know, a couple of different things that you treat and a couple of different treatments. And I'm fascinated by, um, you know, symptoms and how they manifest in the gut. You know, if you're right. stressed, you get acid reflux. It's crazy. What if people uh, are interested and or they're like, oh, my gut doesn't feel right. How can you help them? How can you treat them? So first of all, I think it starts with a healthy, healthy diet. Mm -hmm. So we, if we are eating healthy diet, then you should be in a good shape. In fact, people who come to me for acid reflux, yes, I give them medications, but ultimate goal is to get them off of all medications, lifestyle changes. Right. So those are the things we need to do. But with age, we can have um, diseases creep up on you. So upper endoscopy, where we use a little thin tube through uh -huh. the mouth, check the stomach and intestine and also esophagus, diagnose any major condition. If everything looks fine and dandy, I think changing the lifestyle um, is very important. In fact, we have most of our, uh, as you know, medicine is an evidence-based study. Right. The studies where they have done losing weight makes a big difference. Right. Along with that, what we put inside makes a big difference in, in our um, health as well. And that's kind of what you guys do at the Moksha Holistic Center. I gave so much time to your husband. You, are, and we, we've talked about this before, but you're a yes. rheumatologist, meaning you can help with arthritis, but rheumatology is actually so much more than that. So what do you do on the medical side? Yes, Emily, so we treat rheumatism, which is arthritis, and autoimmune disease. For example, lupus. 
uh, rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, psoriatic arthritis, and there's a lot of autoimmune diseases affecting the gut, like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, celiac disease. So a lot of so it's all about gut and immune health, yes. and that's what we do. Okay, <laughs> I love that. And it, you guys kind of take you're you're approaching wellness from both sides, from the medical yeah. side and the holistic side. You guys run the Moksha Holistic Center. You have classes on breathing, which we did here in the studio, and I love because I don't pay attention to it very often. You're doing, you have some specials on uh, turmeric gummies, which you gave me some. I take them every day. And now my finger, this one finger that I felt like had arthritis, it doesn't hurt anymore. Oh, it, that's it great. Does, it's my one little knuckle. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing the benefits. We that's will have great. all the information about the medical side with uh, both of my Dr. Mittals here and the Moksha Holistic Center. You guys, thank you so much for being here today. I'm yeah. glad we could get you out of surgery. I appreciate it. <laughs> Coming up next, we're feeling better and we're looking better too. Up next, we're matching your unique skin tone for a flawless face with Color Beauty Makeup. That's next.